Oh yeah, I'm so glad finals are over. I've been studying for the past month. Yeah, it's been hard. I've been so bloated and constipated lately. I think it's because of the stress. What about, what you think? Yeah, I've been eating a lot. You know how that is. Wait, so do you think I have a tapeworm? No, never mind. That's just silly. Hi, I'm so glad to see you. How you been? Oh, I'm good. Let's see. The last time we saw each other, our host was getting ready for finals. She was eating day and night. I was getting so much nutrients from her, it was a dream come true. That's why I'm getting longer now. See? I know. You look so long and lean. Thank goodness for those human vertebrae. I know that. I'm so glad. But enough about me. How have you been? I'm doing so well. You know how much I love it when our host eats nutritious meals? As a matter of fact, I do have good news. Oh, what is it? What gravid proclotted for the first time. I'm just over the moon. I've been planning this for a while now, and I think it's a good time to start a family. This digestive tract has been really good to me. Oh, I'm so glad for you. I knew it as soon as I saw you. I thought your proglottin chain was getting longer, but I didn't want to say anything. Thank you. It's been a little hectic to have these proglottins moving down the chain and making sure I absorb enough nutrition to pass down to the excretory system fast enough for my embryo. I don't know how you do it. It's not an easy job fertilizing 50,000 eggs into embryos for my first proglottids. Sometimes I do wish we don't have to cross fertilize the eggs ourselves. Yeah, I know. It's not an easy feat, but at least we don't have to work hard for nutrition like those nematodes. Thank God our ancestors had some sense and lost the serum. I absolutely agree. Who would be the wiser? Having evolved into triploplastic and then into acylomase to save us the energy of having to digest food? Can we say that we're superior to those arthropods? <laughs> Although, you know what, sometimes I do wish we didn't have to be such parasitic worms. It's getting harder to get rid of those antibodies. They're constantly checking on us and recruiting those acinophils to get rid of us. Last time our host was in class, I heard the humans have a differential blood count test to test for a hike in those pesky acinophils. They can detect our presence like that. Yeah, it's been tough, but we always win. It's not easy getting rid of us parasites. What, at two or three meters in length, we're definitely having the advantage. I can't believe I might have tapeworms. What do I do? Oh yeah, they did the blood test. Apparently it was a spike with my acinophils higher than usual. So the doctor, that's why the doctor requested a stool sample. He saw it get back to me in a day or so. Well, it's not that bad. I just have to finish a drug treatment, uh, a bilintracite or something like that, for a week or so. But then I'll be in the clear, for sure. Absolutely. And let's not forget our skull wipes. I'm so thankful I have those two rows of hooks to attach firmly to my part of the intestines not to get washed away so easily like Tom and Mike the other day. Do you remember that? Good Lord, do I? I was so scared, but last I heard, they were ready to move on anyway. Here's to hope with my parklotids finding a new host of their own. Oh yeah, they can live longer as cysts if they go dormant and find their way to the brain or the cardiac muscle of their new host. No one can detect that. Sure, but I do hope the new generation will be careful. They might give their presence away by giving their host seizures or epilepsy, and then it'll be the end for them for sure. True, but, uh, but as parents, we can only do so much. Now, see why I don't like being such a parasitic worm? Life's hard. I agree, but at least we're thriving in this intestine. Speaking of which, I think our host just ate like two hours ago. Let's start absorbing our next meal.